to crane your neck because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true <gasps> facts about giraffes. Number five, giraffes and their, uh, distinctive look. It's impossible to talk about giraffes without addressing the elephant in the room. No, not that elephant standing behind the giraffe. I'm talking about their crazy long necks. But despite how long they are, they actually only have seven vertebrae in their necks, the same number as humans. So what's the big difference? Each giraffe vertebra is super duper sized and can be up to 10 inches long. They also have two hair covered horns on the tops of their heads called ossicones that can be used to tell the gender of a giraffe. Females have thin ones with tufts of hair on top, while a male's ossicones end in knobs and tend to be bald on top. That's because the males use them to fight. Oh yeah. And their tongues are pretty strange too. They can be up to 20 inches long and are darkly colored, which experts think is designed to help protect them from the sun, because no one wants a tongue burn. And even their scientific name, Giraffa camelopardalis, comes from the ancient Greeks' belief that they look like a camel wearing a leopard's coat. Oh, you look beautiful, darling. Number four. We all know giraffes are big, but I bet you didn't know that they eat about 75 pounds of food per day. By comparison, your average human adult eats between three to five pounds of food in a day. And that includes heavier foods like meat and cheese. Giraffes pretty much only eat leaves, which means they basically need to eat all day long to get enough food, which is much easier to do when the menu doesn't include mystery meat, like in the cafeteria. Number three, the most noticeable part of a giraffe's look, besides its neck, is their majestic spotted coat. Every single giraffe has a unique, intricate fur pattern kind of like a human's fingerprint. But the pattern isn't the most interesting part of their fur, if by interesting you mean totally disgusting. See, having such a long neck can make it kind of hard for giraffes to groom themselves. So instead, they ooze chemicals from their skin to keep insects away and disinfect themselves so that bacteria can't grow. So while it might keep the giraffes healthy, it also makes their skin smell really bad to humans. In fact, some elderly giraffes are so completely coated in a pungent protective ooze that locals call them stink bulls. Oh, come on, guys. Don't call them names just because they smell bad. You bunch of bullies. Number two, it's much harder for giraffes to drink water than you might think. To have a drink, they need to spread out their front legs and crane their neck at a weird angle, which leaves them vulnerable to predators. So a giraffe's body has evolved some pretty clever ways to deal with it. Their system can get almost all the water they need from the plants they eat, so adult giraffes only need water once a day. They also never sweat or pant to cool down. Instead, their body temperature goes up or down depending on the weather, which lets them conserve water and keep cool in any situation. If only my dad could keep cool in any situation. And finally, our number one fact about giraffes, the first giraffe in Europe. As you may know, giraffes only live naturally in Central and Southern Africa, so it took humans to transport these majestic animals to Europe. The very first one was brought there by Julius Caesar in 46 BC as part of his triumphant return to Rome. The Romans didn't know what to make of this new crazy looking animal, so they called it the camel leopard because, well, it looks like a camel and a leopard. And you might think that a giant aggressive animal would make a terrible pet, but the ancient Egyptians didn't agree. 1,500 years after Julius Caesar, Lorenzo de' Medici was given a giraffe by the Sultan of Egypt. Giraffes hadn't been seen in Italy since Roman times, so as you might imagine, it caused quite a stir. Stories say that the giraffe would wander the streets of Florence, eating treats offered out of second story windows. But be careful, if you feed it, it's just gonna follow you home. Hey Bob, can I keep it? Well, there they are, five fantastic facts about the tallest animals on planet Earth. I'm talking about giraffes. What's your absolute favorite majestic animal? Besides giraffes, of course. Let us know by commenting below and make sure to check out five facts about crocodiles if you wanna chomp on some more facts. And of course, remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day and new five facts every week. I'm your host, and quite frankly, I really want a giraffe now.